Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Techniques course. In this video, we'll implement K-Nearest Neighbor Classifier and Regressor from scratch. K-Nearest Neighbor, as you know, does not have any model. It stores all examples in the training set. For a given value of K and selected distance matrix, KNN uses the following steps to assign label to the new example. First, it finds the distance between the new example to all other examples in the training set and then select k nearest neighbor and get their labels. The label or the output to the new example is assigned based on the labels of these k nearest neighbors. k nearest neighbor technique can be used for both classification and regression problem. For a classification task, it assigns the label taken by the majority of the k nearest neighbors. For the regression task, on the other hand, it takes the average of output label of the k-nearest neighbors and assign it to the new examples. In this collab, we'll implement KNN from scratch, we'll implement the distance calculation and nearest neighbor based label and output assignment. Let's begin by importing the necessary libraries. We import NumPy and plotting libraries as well as some utilities from sklearn mainly for making the datasets and for training and test splits. First, we will implement the distance computation between two examples. We implement two functions, one for Euclidean distance and second for Manhattan distance. In Euclidean distance, we take two arguments x1 and x2 and both of these x1 and x2 are row vectors x1 can have multiple rows. In that case, this function returns Euclidean distance between every row in x1 and x2. It returns a distance, which is a vector of Euclidean distance between every row vector in x1 and x2. We implement Euclidean distance in vectorized form by summing up the square of difference between two vectors along the columns. We implement Manhattan's distance in the same manner. There are two arguments, x1 and x2. Both of them are row vector. x1 can have multiple rows. In that case, this function returns the Manhattan distance between every row in x1 and x2. It returns distance, which is a vector of Manhattan distances between every row vector in x1 and x2. We implement the Manhattan distance in vectorized form by summing up the absolute difference between x1 and x2 along the columns. In the next two sections, we'll implement classification and regression with KNN. Let's first implement the KNN class. In KNN class, the constructor has k, which is number of nearest neighbor to be used to make prediction and the distance metric as argument. In addition to that, we also specify the type of the task. There are two types of the tasks that are possible. One is classification and second is regression. We set k to the desired value as passed in the constructor and the distance matrix to the chosen distance matrix as specified in the constructor. We also set the task type. We implement fit function by passing the matrix of input example and a column vector corresponding to labels. The fit function only copies the data as passed in the argument. Prediction is the function where most of the action is happening in KNN. We call the predict function by passing the new example. In the predict function, first we calculate the distance between the new example and every example from the data, creating a distance vector. So we call the distance metric and pass the, the training examples and the new example. We get the indices of the nearest k neighbors. And then we get the labels for the selected k entries from the, from the labels of the training examples. If it is a classification task, then we calculate the mode or we find out the majority class in the neighborhood 
and assign that label to the new example. And for regression task, we calculate the average of labels in the neighborhood and store that as an output for the new example. We return the label and the indices of the nearest neighbor as part of the predict function. We also implement an evaluation function by taking the, the test feature matrix and test labels as input and we return misclassification rate for the classification and root mean squared error for the regression task. So here you can see that for classification task, we calculate the, the misclassification error. And for regression task, we calculate the error vector and use that error vector in calculating the mean squared error. We demonstrate classification with two examples. The first example has simple decision boundary between two classes. We generate 100 examples, each represented with two features and the class labels. This dataset is generated for classification task. The points are generated such that they are clustered in two groups with mean 0, 0 and 5, 5 with standard deviation of 1. When we check the shapes of the feature matrix and label vector, we see that there are 100 examples each in the feature matrix and the label vector and there are two features for every example. So we plotted these points where on x-axis we have feature 1 and y-axis has feature 2. So these are examples from two classes. One class is represented with black points and the second class is represented with the white points. We'll apply a KNN technique in order to assign a label to the new example. In this case, we set the value of k to 3 and we use Euclidean distance as a distance measure. So we instantiate a KNN object and we, we first call the fit function by passing the uh, training feature matrix and training labels and this is a new example for which we are interested in assigning the class label. We call the predict function by passing the new example to the predict function and we get the prediction as well as the nearest neighbor indices from the predict function. Here we visualize the new example along with the training examples. So this is where the new example is. We find three nearest neighbor for the new example and these are the three nearest neighbors. There are two neighbors from class from class white and one neighbor from the class black. And you, you can see that the majority class in the neighborhood of the new example is the white class, hence we assign the white label to the new example that you can see over here. Next we draw a decision boundary. In order to draw a decision boundary, we we first generate some set of dummy points and for them we get predictions and based on that prediction we draw the decision boundary. And you can see that for three nearest neighbor for the given training set, this is the decision boundary that we learned. The decision boundary has got some rough edges along, along this particular part. We can make this smoother by selecting more points for making the decision. Let's take the second example where we have complex decision boundary between two classes. Here the decision boundary is spiral. So we first make synthetic data set with spiral decision boundary between them and then use 3NN classifier in order to classify points in the respective classes. So here we instantiate an object of KNN with k equal to 3 and distance function uh, equal to Euclidean distance function. And then we fit the model and draw the decision boundary for, for the given training set. And you can see that Euclidean distance and k equal to 3, we are able to find out 
um, you are able to come up with a smooth decision boundary separating the two classes. So you can see that KNN can be used to learn such complex decision boundaries. So those were a couple of examples from classification task. We'll also show how KNN can be used for regression task. We first generate synthetic data set for regression task. Here we generate data set of 100 examples with a single feature and a label. The label is related to the input feature with the formula w0 plus w1x plus some random noise. w0 is set to 4 and w1 is set to 3. We reshape both the input feature matrix and the label vector. The shape of the input feature matrix is 100 comma 1 and the label vector is also 100 comma 1. So you can you can see that the number of examples in the feature matrix and label vector matches. We split the input data into training and test. We, we set aside 20% examples as test examples. So here there are 80 examples that are used as training set and 20 examples are set aside as test set. So these are the examples in our training set. So x1 is the, the first feature which is on the x-axis and y is the label which is on the y-axis. Here we experiment with different values of k. Specifically, we choose values of k between 1 and 16. So we create a KNN object with specified value of k and a task type equal to regression. We use Euclidean distance function for calculating the distance between the given example and the training examples. We fit the model and get predictions for each example in the test set. After getting the predictions, we calculate the sum of squared error between the actual output and the predicted output. And we plot the predictions along with the ground truth. So these are different predictions that we that we get for different values of k. So here you see the prediction for k equal to 1. So blue point is the actual label and the red point is the predicted label. So we have displayed actual and the predicted value of, uh, of, the, of the label for different values of k. So since we used the value of k from 1 to 16, we have got 16 such kind of plots in this collab. We try to choose the best value of k by plotting the value of k on x-axis and error on the y-axis. So these are errors that we obtained for various values of k in KNN. k equal to 10 seems to be an optimal value for k based on this particular plot. k equal to 2 also has very similar result as k equal to 10 but it has got slightly higher error. If we are limited by the amount of computation that we want to do, we might also choose k equal to 2 for, for this particular regression task. It will help us to reduce the number of computations for assigning labels to the new example. So in this collab, we implemented KNN from scratch and demonstrated its usage in classification and regression tasks.